dog in here. Don't let him get it. Pull. Pull. Pull on with two hands. Don't let him get it from you. You gotta be strong. You got it? Yeah. Oh, you got it from you. Go get it. Don't let him get it from you. You're strong. You're He-Man. You're Batman. <laughs> You're all of the mans. Spider-Man. Tough man. Take the rope from the dog man. That's you, dude. Get it from him. Don't hit him. Just get that rope. Pull it from him. Can you get it from him? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, you distracted him. <laughs> Don't poke him in the eye. Be nice to him. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. <laughs> get him, Zeke. Get him. They've been fighting for like 20 minutes and I couldn't find the camera. <laughs> <laughs> let him get it. Let him bite it, and then you let him see if he can pull it from you. With the guy, he's got it. <laughs> Zeke, you'll give me that thing. You can't get it from me. You can't get it from me. I got it. I'm the Superman. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> You're such a strong puppy. Watch this. Watch this. Nope. Sit. Sit. Do you want to get it? Whoa! Look at that hop. That was a good hop. Rock tart, get it from him. Pull it. Pull it. No. Who's gonna win? Me. Well, let's see you get it from him. Can you get it from him? Yeah. Use two arms. Oh. <laughs> Don't let him get it from you, dude. Two arms. Pull. Pull. Zeke's <laughs> win. Zeke's <laughs> win. Yeah. He's strong, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Zeke's win! Can you get it from him? Me. Get it from him. I can't get it. How come? This is gonna bite me. He won't bite you. You think he's gonna bite you? Are you scared? Yeah. Oh, you got it! Yeah, I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! He's taunting you! Oh, now you're taunting him. <laughs> you gonna go get a Zeke? You gonna take that from him? Oh, but he... <laughs> <laughs> this is fun to watch. Don't hit him. Be nice to him. Be nice. I got to wash him. You gonna comb his hair? Yeah, comb his hair. Oh, telephone. Who is it? Okay, it's time to open the gummies. Do you want to tell him where you got this? Yeah. You want to tell him where you got it? Where'd you get it? Eat it. You got it at eat it? Yeah. <laughs> you got it because you helped make your bed, right? <laughs> Yes, yes, Zeke, you didn't make your bed, you don't get any. So we have a new rule at our house, a couple new rules actually. At family home evening, we talked about having order in the home, which we made three new rules. I'm gonna tell you one of them right now. What do you wanna show them? In my bed. You wanna show them your bed? Oh, look, you made it. In the best way, a three-year-old knows how to make his bed. That's awesome, high five. Yes. I blog it. You what? I blog. You're, yes, you are Brock. You are rock hard. No, I vlog. Huh? I vlog. Oh, you vlog? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you want to vlog? Here. Do you want to hold the camera? Yeah. Hi, guys. So hey. what we want to tell them is our new rule is that we have to make our beds every morning. As soon as you roll out of bed, even before you get dressed or go potty, you make your bed, right? Okay. That's what we're telling them. Don't push any buttons, okay? okay. <laughs> and then, can you guys see me okay? Yeah? And then, okay. sometimes, not every time, but if you make your bed, you just might get a treat. My mom used to do this for me and my brothers and sisters, and I remember sometimes, hey, wait, wait, over here, over here, over here, thanks, thanks. I remember sometimes I didn't make my bed, but my sister made her bed, so she got a treat and I didn't. So that's why you have to make it every day. It doesn't mean you'll always get a treat, but just in case the treat fairy comes around, it's not really a treat fairy, it's really me. I'm like, I'm a fairy, I'm a treat fairy. Anyways, then you might get a treat. So that's what we're doing. Thank you, cameraman, you did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily, Suntard made his bed. It looks a little worn because he's jumping in it, but that's okay. He made his bed so he gets a gummy, and then the girls also and made their bed. So we're doing good, but it's gummy. time to go get them now. Hey, get the bun gun. <laughs> Okay, you silly. <laughs> what are these? You have 
alien fingers on your belly. I love you. Hi. Hello. Oh, that's a good smile. I love you. We're going to get the kids, and he loves to go with me. Mommy. Um, so, do you want to tell them what is going on? Why um, Suntart is sad? Yes, Suntart told them. Uh, and why I'm jumping for joy? Oh man, you're so mean. My whoopee cushion broke. Oh, the whoopee cushion. No more fire noises. Uh oh, that's it. Oh, squishy. <laughs> oh wait, but I need it for my story. Okay, okay. tell us your story. So my story with the whoopee cushion. So I just basically I was born at recess. So I got my whoopee cushion and I just slipped on my shirt and I just walked by people and I farted. You're and that's so <laughs> gross. <laughs> the worst thing about it is it's a reef, like it inflates itself. Yeah. Ugh. So you can do it over and over and over again. I Which he I does. <laughs> All the time. Anyways, when I was doing it to one of the teacher helpers, and I just walked up to him, turned around, did it, and then walked away. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, nasty. Yeah. Was it a boy or a girl? It was a dude. That's Ooh. gross, dude. Have some manners, okay? I showed him this, and then... Gross. So hey, you guys. So look what Mommy Tar did. The other night during our family home evening, we had a lesson about a house of order. And we talked about how we need to work as a team because we're a family that we need to all work together to keep the house clean. So one of the things that Colette said, oh, the kids are home, the kids are home, is that if they make their bed, that every once in a while they'll get a treat on it. But hey, oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, I got a treat for me in my bed. <laughs> You made your bed. Yes. Did Baby Tard make her bed? Baby Tard! Did she get a treat? Or Come she got a bed. treat? What? It broke. <laughs> you have a sad story? Your fart machine broke? Baby yes. Tard, oh, well, if you weren't you farting so much, you wouldn't have ripped a hole in your fart sphincter. That's weird. Speaking of farts, <laughs> look at Ew. What? Does it actually think? really smells like one. It's because you walked in. You got home from school. <laughs> Baby Tard looks like you made your bed this morning before you left. Huh? What does that mean? A treat? Not every day, but if you're lucky, you might get a treat. Good job. You're awesome, yeah! So Mommy Tart was telling the kids that when she was a little Ooh, girl, I have to go check my bed. You better go check your bed. When Colette was a little girl, they had to make their bed, and every so often, if they made their bed, their mom would surprise them with a treat on their bed. So she put some gummy things on their bed today because they made they all made their beds before they went to school today. I'm on kid pickup duty. I go pick up them girls from the gymnasium. They doing a the gymnastics. So I have a question for you. I think the girls are great at gymnastics. Princess Tart is daring. They're strong. They like gymnastics. But I just, you know, I don't feel like they're ever gonna go to the Olympics. We're just, we're never gonna like take it serious enough to put that much time into it. Because I want them to be more well-rounded than just like, you're gonna go to gym five days a week. And in order to become like an Olympic champion, you gotta, you gotta, it's like a full-time job for kids. I know there's kids that go to this gym for like 20, 30 hours a week. And I just, I'd rather my girls do other things. So my question is this, do you think that them going to gym helps them in their life at all? I mean, if they're never gonna become Olympic champions or they may, may never even compete, do you still feel like it's beneficial for them to go to gymnastics, you know, even just for a couple years? I would like to think that it is. You know, it teaches them hard work and I feel like it will help them with flexibility and if they wanna play sports later on that they will be strong because they condition those little girls. They have to climb ropes and do push-ups and all kinds of stuff. Because sometimes it's just like, man, I'm like, we're always picking up these kids from activities. You know, Suntar, he just finished swimming. now he's doing water polo so it's like I, I like that though like I want them to have a variety of opportunities I want them to be able to try different things and I think at the end of the day that's probably what's most important is that we give them opportunities just to do different things because you know maybe they'll find one that they're like this is it I love this I just want to give them a wider range of things that they can try and be a part of an experience but sometimes I get sick of picking them up every day it's like that's our full-time job sometimes okay I'm gonna drop Suntart off at water polo you go pick up the girls then we're gonna stop for dinner and then we have to take Rock Tard to his archery lessons because he's gonna do some basket weaving now. Oh wait, he's sleeping. He's not going to any of those things. Zeke, I'm taking you to your French class after this, okay? Because you're what the French call les incompetents. If there's any parents out there who have a couple kids and know what I'm talking about as far as running to soccer practice and to ballet and to piano lessons, you know it can be a full-time job and it can be very stressful sometimes. And you kids out there should be grateful for your parents taxiing you all over the town because it can be annoying! You think we like it? You think we like sitting in traffic taking you to all your stupid activities? 
That's not very nice, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I know that there's some other moms out there who are uh, retired, quote unquote, who don't have kids to take around anymore, who, you know, all their kids are grown up and they're out of the house, and they look back on these times with much fondness, you know, and I know that will happen. I have those moments where I'm like, oh, it's like running them to places all the time, but sometimes you gotta stop and be like, you know what? Time flies, man, and before you know it, you're gonna blink your eye, and this life is gonna be over or the kids are gonna be moved out of the house. They're gonna be graduated and it's just gonna be me and Colette and we're gonna be like, you remember when we used to take into gymnastics? I miss those times. Why don't we enjoy those times more? That's the secret of life, to enjoy the moment right now. Right now. Not, not a second ago, not in a second from now, but right now. Enjoy your life right now, right now, right now, now. That is the ultimate secret, is just to be happy in the very moment that you are living and breathing. This moment right here, that's the time to be happy, and that's the secret to life. Oh, you're so special. I love you, little boy. Oh, look who woke up. I got it, Dad. Did you get it? Yeah. You're so talented. <laughs> you're gonna fall yeah. on your head and get a concussion. I'm fine. Don't die, okay? Hello. Hello. I think I wanna tickle you. Can I ask you a question real quick? What? Will you raise your arms and let me stick my finger in your armpit? No! I want to tickle I you. I raise, I raise my arm. I raise my arm. <laughs> I want to tickle it. I got it. What do you think? You think you'll go to the Olympics one day? Yeah. Yeah, of course you will. Speaking, actually, of Olympic champions, Michaela Maroney is training here right now. That's pretty cool. Hey, do you realize that? A girl who's been to the greatest competition in the world is down there. The gold medalist, Michaela Maroney, is down there on the same gym floor that you worked out on. Do you believe that? What's that, sir? Front flip. Okay, let's see your front flip. You won with a front flip? I doubt it, dude. The judges are expecting a lot more this year. You're gonna have to do at least a quadruple front flip. You're not gonna win with a single front flip. Give me a break. That's pathetic. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. That's good. I don't think this is what we're supposed to be doing on these bars. You're gonna rip your arms out of socket, dude. Careful. I don't think your arms are supposed to spin that way. That's cool. Sports Illustrated. That's Michaela right there. Michaela Maroney. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Do you ever talk to Michaela Maroney? Did you see her? You know she was there today? You don't talk to her? She watched her. I, I, she what? I didn't see her. Oh yeah, she was there. Did you ever talk to her? Not really. She, do you guys realize how famous she is? She met President Obama. She's been on the Jay Leno show. Does that mean anything to you? No. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Like, I don't want to film her. I don't want to vlog Michaela Maroney doing her routine because, like, what if I'm giving away secrets? She's preparing for the next Olympics, and if I vlogged her, then, like, her competition, the Russian gymnasts would have seen, they would have known what outfit she had on and what song she was going to select, and they would copy and steal them, and that would be a national travesty if I gave away Michaela Maroney's next techniques for the new Olympics. Think about it. That's... That's, that's international espionage if you're not careful, ladies. No? Okay. Let's go home. <laughs> Did you just call me a weirdo? <laughs> I'll bite you. Okay, start on the top. Yeah. Read that it's whole sentence. Doing the, 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 the stick. No, it's uh, no, right here. When? When? Work. No, you just this. They, they what? Did uh law law um work. No, but big no. You Good. Are so cute in that yeah. hat. On Kim's big nuts. On big nuts, right? The two kids went to work. They did a lot of work on Kim's big mess because her room was a mess. Kim, seriously. Girl. You girl. Clean up your room, Would girl. you stop, you little okay, camera hog? Nobody cares about you. Thank your bum, thank your bum. Well, let's go see what we're making for dinner tonight. It's a baby. Oh, are you mad at me because I left you? I really don't understand why this is different from everything that's happened. <laughs> this is our gas shots. 
You guys are just... Tuck under the arm, watch some, watch some Shark Tank. He I actually likes, shark. he likes watching TV. He likes all the movement and the colors. <laughs> he likes the business deals. He does. He's You're thinking 25% right, right. for $250,000 in my company, I'll take that deal. <laughs> so cute. Oh, distribution. I love you. Are you the doctor? <laughs> Drink your medicine. <laughs> oh, yeah, apple, juice down. Down. Yeah. apple juice down. Baby tard! Go get a towel, butt muncher. Oh, sorry. It's dinner time at the Shea Turds once again. No more medicine. More medicine. <laughs> I don't know, you guys get sick of me filming when we're eating? I feel like we just vlogged that we we're eating dinner. I have a question. What's your favorite thing for us to vlog? Like if you were to pick one type of footage, is there a thing? Like a type of footage? What would you have us vlog? Like us hanging out as a family? Do you like when we're cooking in the kitchen? Do you like to see when we're eating dinner? Do you like, Do you like to when see we're us at events? At events? Do you like to be in spaghetti? Shopping. Yeah, shopping. What's your favorite what type you? of vlog footage? And also, I want you to leave comments below. Which one is your favorite kid? Because I know I got my favorite. <laughs> Who do you guys think is my favorite? Mommy Tar. Daxton. Think. Daxton! Mommy Tar. <laughs> You're right, it is Mommy, mommy. Does that make you guys? Mommy. Does that make you guys feel bad that I love your mom more than you? No. Yes, because she's not even your child. Oh, you, imagine, you, imagine. <laughs> you guys gotta know, me and mom, we started this family together. We're the original soul members we're of this ending family. We're together. Yeah, one day you guys are gonna grow up and leave us, and then we're gonna be stuck together still. So our hearts have to be We'll be stuck locked. together. It will locked. be so painful. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited to be stuck okay, to you good. forever. I love you we're forever. Stuck like glue. Is that a song? Yeah. So leave us a comment below. I want to know what's your favorite kind of footage and who's your favorite kid? Ow, oh, daddy. Ow, oh, daddy. Rock tart. Oh, leave your sister you? alone. <laughs> what are you doing? She's my finger. A, butt munch. a family that ate spaghetti together stays together. I've gotten some crap from some of you in the past for telling the kids that I love their mom more than I love them. They know that I love them. I actually think that one of the most important things I can do for my children is to show that I love their mother. And I think that is so key in the young development of a child's life, that they know that their mom and dad love each other unconditionally and that they'll always be together. And it breaks my heart when I read comments from you guys talking to me about how your parents have split up or how they fight. Hang in there. We are here for you and we love you and you can create the relationship that you want when you grow older. Don't give up on love. This is a love song. Don't ever give up on love. I don't know. All right, click on a vlog. Yesterday's vlog was a pretty good one. If you missed it, Princess Tards sang a Taylor Swift cover at the end of the vlog. Click on that Feeling Lucky button if you want to see what the Shade Tards are doing one, two, three, or four years ago on this very day. Click on those corresponding numbers. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow.